Stephanie um, is working on Simply Dreaming. There's actually a lot of questions about Simply Dreaming. So um, she says, and she stitches on a brother luminaire. Um, anyone else using a brother luminaire? Could you give me a wave if you have a brother luminaire? Wendy, you do. And I know Joe has a Solaris, which is essentially the same machine. Um, let me know if either of you two have experienced this. So um, Stephanie says, sometimes I find the brother scan and cut appliques are very exact, but when I place them on the pre-stitched area, it can be a bit short, particularly on the larger pieces. Am I doing something wrong? And my answer to that is no, you are not doing anything wrong. What I have found is that, is, and as Stephanie said, especially for the larger pieces, the scan and cut, the, uh, the Cricut Maker, the Silhouette Cameo, they all will cut accurately. So if you cut a 10 inch square on any of those machines, you will actually wind up with a 10 inch square. If you cut an 11 and a half inch square, which is the biggest thing that you can cut, you, you can cut just a tiny bit bigger than 11 and a half inches. That will also be very accurate. However, if, if, if you actually have, a, well, it doesn't matter how wide it is, but certainly lengthways, if you were to stitch a 10 inch square on any of the machines, my experience is that some of the machines, not all of them, but some of them will actually shrink that design. So you, even though what you're stitching should measure 10 inches, it not doesn't necessarily measure 10 inches. And the bigger the thing gets, the more uh, uh, the more error you end up with. So for instance, in the Bonina um, mega hoop or maxi hoop or jumbo hoop, you theoretically should be able to stitch 400 millimeters this way, which is, I think it's, it's certainly 15 point something inches. So if you were to stitch even something that was an inch wide and 15 inches tall, chances are it's not gonna measure 15 inches exactly. And I noticed this specifically when I uh, used my brother Dream Machine. So that has the 240 by 360 hoop. 360 is about 14 inches. So if you take the, uh, and the 240 is nine and a half. So on the, um, on the brother, or the baby lot, you can actually stitch a nine and a half, well, let's say a nine inch by 14 inch rectangle. If you were to stitch that, chances are it's not going to measure all of 14 and a half inches or 14 inches or how, however big it is. Um, so yes, it's entirely possible, especially as the designs get bigger, that your applique shape, um, She's actually saying that the applique shape can be a bit short, which is indicating that the design is coming out a bit long. Um, <sighs> That's the stitches pulling it up. This is Vicki Watkins. Is that? This is Vicki Watkins. I have a Hi, Vicky. and a luminaire. Okay, let me find you so that I can actually see you. There you go. So you have a luminaire. That, I had that I was simply dreaming. dreaming. And it was pulling, it pulls my designs in and then it doesn't cover the edges. Yeah, I've noticed it on the, specifically on the dream machine. It doesn't happen so much on the brother, on, on the baby. Oh, oh, good heavens to Betsy. On the bananas. The but it, yeah, I have noticed it on the brother machine. And yes, and all, scan and cut. All together, sure. But I'm the scan and cut is cutting accurately. It's the machine that is pulling up the stitches. When it when it stitches down, is it kind of pulling the fabric in? Maybe we need to make our FCM file a tiny bit bigger. The challenge with that on the Simply Dreaming, the biggest shape that cuts is eleven and almost three quarters of an inch, and you actually can't get it any bigger. Um, it's not enough that makes a difference in the finished thing by the time you've trimmed it, but there is definitely 
something once you get above 10 inches there is definitely a difference if you if you examine the the shape and the what stitches and if you even if it's just a simple outline as you know like a single stitch outline it can be different it it can be a different size i don't know if you guys remember um what were we doing there was a um Oh my goodness, I can't remember what we were stitching, but there was a time, I think it was last year when I asked people if they would be willing to stitch out um, a sampler design on a piece of stabilizer that I had created. And it literally was a uh, 15 inch for folks that had the banana hoop or um, 14 inches, I think, if people had the non-banana hoops, the, the 360 tall ones and it was kind of interesting to get everybody's results back and I can't remember at the moment why we were doing that but I was curious about how much each machine would shrink because I've no it's it does seem more like it shrinks which is kind of a bit backwards for what Stephanie is talking about now that I think Jim about said it that was the 3d quilt the flying geese Yes, yes, I think you might be right. Wonder if there's something on the brother that we can tension adjust. I don't think it's a matter of tension. I it doesn't seem to make any difference widthwise. It's, it's just, just lengthwise. Length Is that pull comp? No, I don't think so, because it happens even if you've only just got a single stitch line and there should not be any pulling at all Darn. when you're stitching a single stitch line. If anybody has a really good tech and would be willing to go in and have a chat with them about it, that would be fabulous. I don't know, but I'm going into the store um, and just a couple of weeks and I will have a chat with them anyway. Okay. Yeah. Let me know what I mean, they have. I have a Bernina and a brother both. Because I notice it. I've noticed it more so on the brother than on the Bernina. And I'd love to know what the, um, what, what the compensation could be. You could always, um, modify the design it kind of you know just scale it ever so slightly but that you, you know, shouldn't gonna have to do that math, and you shouldn't really have to do that exactly no. let me just see yeah rosie's saying can you calibrate the machine um you shouldn't have to do that either but it sounds like it yeah for the most part, it doesn't make too much difference to the finished results. If, um, and um, Stephanie is working on Simply Dreaming. So one of the things with Simply Dreaming and the seven and a half inch blocks, when you when we had three blocks together, so three times seven and a half is 22 and a half, right? Yes, three times seven and a half is 22 and a half. Divide that by two is 11 and a quarter. So what we did was um, for people who had the bigger hoops, and we do them all this way, but for people who had the bigger hoops, instead of stitching the three blocks, I gave the option to stitch two halves. So instead of stitching a piece this long in thirds, I gave the option to stitch it in two halves instead. And that, so 11 and better. quarter inches is, well, it might, it, at 11 and a quarter inches, it's more likely to show up a slight error than it is at seven and a half inches. So if you have a big error, 11 and a quarter inches, and, you can, and simply dreaming, then you can always just go back to the seven and a half inch blocks. But it would be really good to 
figure out why it happens. And I've definitely noticed it happening. So it, yes, Vicky, if you're actually going to be in talking with your tech in a couple of weeks, I'd love to hear what they have to say about it. And I can dig out that um, sample design that I created where I was you mm -hmm. know, able to measure and I can send that to you as well, if you like. I can do whatever. I work the okay. time. Well, if you could draw me an email and remind me, I'll send you the design. And then if you'd be willing to mention it when you go in, that would be fabulous. Yes, I know the owner pretty well if she's if she's in that day. Okay, cool. 